Thank you, brother. Yeah. Um, well, I want to share uh, with all of you why it is that I'm here tonight, and that's because we have an opportunity to send bold, progressive leadership to Washington, D.C. We know the crisis that we're in. We know that our working families, that our immigrant families, are under attack every single day. And we've seen how those attacks have intensified under President Donald Trump and the policies that his Republican Party pushes forward. We've also seen how too often corporate Democrats fail to fight back, how they fail to vigorously oppose Donald Trump and push forward a progressive vision that says there is a different way. We can have Medicare for all. We can have free college tuition. We can have a $15 living wage today. Those are the things that I'm running for. Because I think that we can move the Democratic Party to the left, that we can champion our progressive vision and our values. That's exactly what I've done as a community organizer, as an alderman. I've shown that I'm not afraid to take on the establishment and to win. And that's what I'm ready to do in this race, to say that we can take on big fights and we can move the Democratic Party forward. If we're gonna get there, we got six days to collect 2,500 signatures. The minimum number of signatures that we need is 860, but obviously if we're gonna get enough good ones, we are going to need a lot more. There you go. Um, so um, really quickly, just a, one more reminder. So what we're doing is we're collecting signatures from registered voters that uh, identify as Democrats that live in the 4th Congressional District we're going to be either at doors, if you we give you a list of doors, if that's what you want, or you will be at a train stop in the district. So as people are getting off of the train, as they're coming home from work, ask them, hey, do you live in the district? Do you live in Congressman Gutierrez's district? Are you a registered voter in Illinois? Great. Will you sign to put Carlos on the ballot?